Okay, next. We have just done hypothesis testing. Let's look at how can we make statistical inference through interval estimation by constructing a 95% confidence interval for mu x minus mu y. Okay? As we discussed earlier, huh? it's always begin with estimate. Plus or minus h, h is margin of error. Okay? In our situation, our estimator is x bar minus y bar. And the observed value of x bar minus y bar, we use lowercase. Lowercase x bar minus y bar. That means this is an estimate, an observed value. Okay? So, what's variance of x bar minus y bar? It's what? Hmm? Let's move from here to here. x bar minus y bar plus or minus z star. Variance of x bar minus y bar is sigma x squared over nx plus sigma y squared over ny. Okay? But in the real life application, we don't know what's sigma x, we, we don't know what's sigma y. So we estimate sigma x, sigma y by sx and sy. Okay? By sy. After this replacement, the distribution no longer follows z. It becomes what? P. So I put P star. P star is a critical P value. You need to find this value from what? P table. Okay? So as a formal calculation, x bar minus y bar, we know this is 9.96. And here, after I plug in Sx, Sy, Nx, and, and Y, I get 4.31. So the only job left undone is we need to find T star. What is a critical T value? We want to find what? T star, okay? We want to find T star. And how can we find T star, okay? We're gonna use what? We're gonna use T table, okay? 